guys welcome back to a new video so today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys um, three recipe ideas to take for a Thanksgiving dinner one of my favorites is green bean casserole so you're just gonna need some spray for your pan Two, I got two large cans of cut green beans a can of cream of mushroom some french fried onions and then some cheese so I just got the mild cheddar you can use whatever you want first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 and for all three of these in um, these recipes that I'm making today the oven just needs to be set at 350 so that worked out pretty good so you're just gonna start by getting your green beans in a bowl cream of mushroom soup you guys can also add a diced onion if you want to I think I've also done diced onion in there and it makes it really really good and gives a lot of flavor um, there is a homemade version to make green bean casserole and I'm gonna try it sometimes to just to compare to see if it's any better because I made a chicken pot pie one time the easy route and then I made a homemade one and the homemade one is so much better but I do realize that it takes more steps and the homemade French um, green bean casserole has a lot of steps to it as well so this is just like a simple version but if you guys have never made this you have to try it so we're just going to use half of the french fried onions and you want to save the, the other half for the top of it and we're just going to mix all of that together our cheese cream of mushroom green beans you just want to mix it up and then you can add some salt and pepper if you want i just did pepper because that's what i like is a lot of pepper because the cream of mushroom already has salt in it so if you're trying to watch the salt, just add some pepper. I feel like it gives it So now we are going to put everything in our baking dish and we're going to bake that um, for about 35 for about oh my god holy crap so we're going to bake our green bean casserole for just 30 minutes it's super quick and super easy but i'm telling you guys if you guys have never made this you have to make it it is one of my definitely top favorite side dishes for thanksgiving i love it i just think it's so good and it just kind of one of them things that i only make this time of the year i don't know why i could make it anytime that i want i just I just look forward to this dish so much so you guys will have to let me know down below if you do try this recipe but the cheese took it to the next level because I think in the past I never did add the cheese but the cheese is amazing with it so definitely add cheese and I use two cups of it you can use however much cheese that you want and then we're just gonna finish it off with the rest of our um, french fried onions on top look at that it is so good and it's super easy and fast to make and it'd be a great side dish for a Thanksgiving dinner so our next recipe that we're making is a pumpkin dump cake and I'm just gonna go over the ingredients really quick you need 30 ounce can of pumpkin 16 ounces of evaporated milk 1 teaspoon of ginger a half of a teaspoon of ground cloves one cup of sugar four eggs I don't show the eggs here but I will show them in a minute because I forgot to lay them out two teaspoons of cinnamon one package of yellow cake mix one cup of chopped pecans if you want to I did not use pecans because my husband doesn't really care for the nuts and three-fourths cup of butter So you want to make sure your oven is still preheated to 350 and then we're going to combine. You want to mix your pumpkin, your milk, and your ginger, cloves, sugar, eggs, and your cinnamon in your mixing bowl together.
mix, guys, you want to spray your baking pan, and then we're just going to dump our mixture into our pan. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take that yellow cake mix, and we are going to sprinkle that over the top of this cake. And this was like the weirdest thing ever, but guys, you can do so much with a yellow cake mix. It is insane. There are so many recipes that I'm, both of my recipes for desserts that I'm making today calls for yellow cake mix. It is incredible and it tastes so good. So now I'm just gonna cut my butter into slin, slin? I can't even talk in this video, I do apologize. Thin slices here, you like you wanna make them pretty thin and you're just gonna evenly lay them on top of your cake. Okay, so now we are going to bake this for one hour and then you can serve with whipped cream if you want to. Okay, so for this next recipe guys, this takes a little bit of time. So it does take some steps because you're going to be doing three different layers. So for the bottom layer, you're going to need one box of yellow cake mix, a half a cup of me butter melted, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice. One and a half cup of finely chopped pecans. For the cream cheese layer, you need one eight ounce cream cheese softened, one 14 ounce can of sweet condensed milk, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, and then for the pumpkin layer, you need one 15 ounce can of pumpkin, um, two eggs, one tablespoon of flour, a half a cup of sugar, one five ounce can of evaporated milk, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and one teaspoon of vanilla. So this one does require a lot of ingredients but let me just tell you guys if you make either one of these desserts please highly recommend you guys to make this one I didn't get to film me at the end um, showing you guys how they turned out because I messed up actually on mine but they still taste amazing I messed up on the cream cheese but you definitely want to make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature and you want to make sure that you whip that so you're going to combine we're doing the crust first so you're going to put your flour in there and then I think it is um, your cinnamon um, hold on I'll show you guys yeah you want to combine your pumpkin pie spice I do apologize and your melted butter with cake mix. Just get in there with your hands. I found it easiest to just use my hands. And then you wanna save half of this. I did mess up on this too because I didn't read that part at first. So you guys will see me later on in the video go back and fix it. But you wanna save half of your crust. See, I'm using all of it right now, but you don't wanna do that. Just use half of it and save the other half. And you wanna press down in your pan that is lined with parchment paper. And you just wanna press it down until it's really good and flat. And let me just tell you, this crust is amazing. Like, it's simple, doesn't have a lot of ingredients, but it is delicious. So, um, everybody really loved these cream cheese um, pumpkin bars. So, like I said, if you make anything out of this video, you guys have to try this one. It is a little time consuming because you gotta do like three different steps. But it was worth it and I'm going to make these again because I love them that much and my husband really liked them. They were so good. So now in a mixing bowl we are going to do, um, we are making the cream cheese. This is where I messed up. So you want to actually stir your cream cheese by itself. See I messed up right here where I added it with the sweet condensed milk. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Just you want to cream the cream cheese first and get it all nice and smooth and then you can add your sweet condensed milk, your egg, and your vanilla and then you're going to want to whisk that separate, put it aside, I just put it in a different bowl so I could still use my KitchenAid thing. So um, now we're going to do the pumpkin layer. So we're going to combine our one, can, one 15 ounce can of pumpkin, we're going to do two eggs, a tablespoon of flour, a half a cup of sugar, and one five ounce can of evaporated milk, one teaspoon of our pumpkin pie spice, and our one teaspoon of vanilla. And you're just going to really just kind of dump that all in the bowl and mix it up. It, you don't have to be specific with that one. It's the cream cheese that you have to be specific with. Um, and you're just gonna want to get that creamed up. Yeah. 
so here's the part where I'm fixing my crust that I messed up on and it was actually really easy to, to bring it back up and just refix it it wasn't really a big deal that I messed up so I was glad about that but um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the baking instructions because we're just gonna combine since I messed up on my cream cheese the directions say you want to scoop the cream cheese filling um, with and pumpkin filling over the crust so you just kind of want to scoop it out in like scoops and then you want to alternate it to create a marble look and you can kind of like take a butter knife to marble the fillings together but mine was too runny because I messed up on the cream cheese so I just ended up putting the cream cheese mixture on first and then the pumpkin layer on top and I took a knife and just kind of swirled it and even though I did mess up on mine guys mine still didn't matter because the taste of this turned out fantastic and was still amazing so you're gonna want to bake this for about 35 to 40 minutes until the bars don't move um, when you jiggle the pan so you just kind of want them to be really firm and then you want them to cool room temperature and then you want to refrigerate them until you're ready to serve them but I hope that you guys try out these recipes let me know down below if you try one and I hope that you like them they're all delicious and I hope that you guys have a happy Thanksgiving be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here and I will see you guys in our next video bye guys test and tie, we're gonna try the dump cake the cheesecake bars are still in the oven I think I messed them up I hope not but I will put the actual um, recipe links down below for you guys because that way you guys can go and just screenshot all the ingredients and then you'll be able to follow it if you want to make these or if I gave enough instructions in this video you won't have to do that I don't know hopefully I did okay but I've been doing this all freaking morning my kids slept in today, so I did all of this just in time. Like right when I finished, my kid woke up. It was incredible. I will never get that lucky again, just so you guys know. But I'm just gonna get a little bowl here. We're gonna do a little sample. We're gonna do a little sample. I have a feeling it's like really sweet. Oh wow. So we're gonna do just a little bit of a sample because I wanna know what it tastes like. So it come out really nice looks like that we're gonna get a little fork here it's a little hot so oh my god that's freaking good <laughs> that is delicious um the dump cake I really like it you can do so many different things with yellow cake mix it's unbelievable dump cake was a win Make the dump cake. It's pretty good. Be a nice Thanksgiving dessert to feed a bunch of people because now I got all this food. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. My green bean casserole, make that. I'm telling you, that shit is good too. But I'm going to wait on the cheesecake bars. Hopefully they turn out. We will wait and see because I'm not sure. I might have to let them. Wait, Cole, that's hot. Sit down. We will have to wait and see how they turn out, but I'll be back.